second attempt to film this because my last one I was talking way too much and no one has time for that. So, um, I'm taking a break, uh, from my schoolwork, surprise, surprise, um, and just recording this, um, because my sister is going to give it away to her friend, um, soon-ish, and I wanted to get this up before well, she obviously took it, or I wanted to film this before she took it and I couldn't film it anymore, makes sense. Um, so, uh, my sister has a friend who's very into makeup, um, I used to also work with her, um, we all used to work at the same place. Um, they still work together, but um, she's really into makeup, and um, I, I kind of knew that from just noticing the makeup that she would wear to work and all this stuff, and um, just from what I know, from what my sister has told me from hanging out with her, right? And um, I just wanted to give her some of the makeup that I had because, um, you know, a few months back, um, if you're tuned into any of my older videos, at some point I was trying to declutter my stuff, and I have for the most part. I just haven't filmed it at all. Um, but um, in the box of makeup that I want, that was still good enough to give away um, to other people, other things, even if they were relatively new, they were too old that I was not comfortable enough to like give it to somebody. But all these products are at least within a year, year and a half. If it's like a year and a half, it has not been opened or whatever, um, or barely used. So, um, I think it's still good. Um, I'll tell my sister to tell her friend or I'll tell her myself, whatever, um, that she, by all means, she look through the ones that I, I am handing off to her. If she wants to keep, keep them all, by all means, if she wants to just toss them away, um, because she doesn't like them or it doesn't work for her, by all means do that as well. Um, but I just wanted to give her some of the products that I thought would work kind of well for her or that could potentially work well. She's got, um, lighter skin tone than I, I do, very dark hair, um, so, yeah, um, so really there's only a handful of products that I was comfortable giving to her, um, so they're right here, right, and, um, this first one is just a, ooh, what was that? Something flashed on my screen, that was weird, um, uh, no, thank you, um, here we go. It's just in a Crabtree and Evelyn soapbox. Um, so I got this um, set of three as a gift for my mom. Um, so I've used one already. I have. I'm keeping the second one, but I'm all. I'm gonna give her, give away the third one to my sister's friend here, just because I'm trying to um, not use super heavily fragrant soap bars like this, um, just because. I don't know. I want to use more more natural soaps if and when I can, and I have a lot of soap bars to go through, so I figured I might as well just throw that in. There's no like meaning, like oh you stink, you need to <laughs> you need you need a soap bar or anything. It's just something I'm throwing in there. So the next um not really makeup product, but so beauty related is this Nivea Moisture Lip Care. Um, still unopened, obviously. Um, I originally bought this for my sister, but uh, realized that there was fragrance in this, um, in the formula, and uh, she's got very sensitive skin and stuff, so I just like, eh, don't do that. So I just got her something else that was um, fragrance-free. So I figured I'd give her that, because I have a crap ton of lip balm. Um, most of these things, by the way, are lip products. Um, because I didn't think, like, foundations or concealers, I, I, I can barely match myself, let alone somebody else. So, um, those sorts of things, I just, um, yeah, uh, stayed away from giving away, because I don't really have anything anyway for her. She's very, um, light in skin tone. Um, so, here we go. I'll just organize it like this. The first two, um, products are, like, lip glossy type of things. This one's a Tokidoki, um, Petite Bunny Gloss Bar, and this is like a light pink one there. Um, I got it from Nordstrom when I worked there, but it has not been opened. You can see the seal is still intact there, so I'm going to give her that. Um, 
Also, this Revlon Color Burst um, Balm Stain. Um, this is probably one of the older ones, but I barely have used this. So, again, I'll tell her, you know, if you want this or not, you know, by all means do whatever you'd like with it. But this is the color number 30 in Smitten, um, but it's still pretty sharp. The only reason why it's kind of dull is because I've been wiping it, um, like, off on like a alcohol wipe to try and, and then like a dry paper towel to try to get off that top layer <laughs> just in case so there's that um the next three are three lip liners from nyx we've got here um ooh, nude pink number 858 um citrine in number 843 and the darkest one is burgundy in number 803. And um, these two, the first two were just way too light. Didn't look very good on me. Um, so I figured maybe she'll um, get use out of those. Um, and then this burgundy one, um, for one, is a very pretty color. But I have one that's similar. And the other one is, oh, is I don't know, I just kind of wanted to keep the set sort of like keep in theme with the whole NYX lip liner thing so I gave her this one and I think this would be really pretty because she has very fair skin like and dark hair so it'd be very like snow whitish um I think this would be very pretty on her um and then the last two lip products are um lipsticks and they're very similar in kind of color family I guess um the first one is from the lasting finish by Kate Moss line number eight that looks like this here Okay, and then the next one is a MAC um, lipstick um, in Modesty, and that's a cream sheen finish. And again, I've um, sanitized these. So they're similar-ish. Kind of look at them side by side. They look kind of similar, but um, maybe you can tell, but the Rimmel one's a little darker. But uh, hopefully, maybe she can get some use out of this. I hope so. Mm. It's hard to know because I can barely find tones that look good on me, let alone other people, you know. And then the last two in this in this um, box of just um, small random stuff are two blushes. Um, this one is a you know a really inexpensive NYC Cheek Glow in Prospect Park Rose. Um, this is just way too light. There was the Riverside Rose that I really liked, and so I wanted to try this one out. And it's a little too light. It could work, but it's just like, eh. I might as well just give it away. So, ooh. It's that kind of a color. Mm hmm So, brush is still in there. Probably wipe this so it doesn't look so dusty on the bottom. Dusty from the powder. I mean, not dust dust, but there's that. And then the last one. Um, is the True Blend Blush from CoverGirl, and this is the medium shade number 200. Now, I have actually used this, well, used, used this quite a few times, but I have one, um, blushes that are similar in color, tone, and all that, um, and this just doesn't excite me very much as a blush. It's pretty, but again, just doesn't excite me, so I figured maybe she could use that. Um, and it's relatively new, so considering my use of it. Um, the last thing, um, this one, not that this was hard to give away, but it, it kind of was because it's a, a, a little bit more, you know, expensive. That's part of it, but not really, but it's more so like, you know, it's a, it's kind of like a bigger, you know, item and, you know, I... This is not me trying to be like, oh, look at the makeup I'm giving away to, you know, to all these people, right? I mean, um, I really like her, and she's very into makeup. Not the way my, not the way that, um, my sisters really are, and maybe not to the, like, extent to, you know, to the extent that I am, like, really super obsessed, but I figured, you know, she would like this. Hopefully she will. Again. You know, hopefully she'll find some use with it. Um, but I got the Lorac unzipped like last spring, and I've probably used it once, maybe twice, for an eye look. And ever since then, I I maybe swatched it like three or four times, 
and it's just like it's really awful because it's like oh I don't want to use it and like which is so silly but I figure you know since I can't give her the naked palette which was what I was gonna give her um, because I just found that there were so many tones that I could find in other palettes or shadows that I have already slash you know I was just like, mm, about it. She already has it. Um, the Naked 3, I thought maybe she would like, but I got that as a gift, and I didn't want to um, give away something that I personally got from somebody else, like, as a gift like that. So, um, yeah, I opted for this, and I'm actually very excited to give this to her. And um, there's a little eyeshadow primer. I'll just show you kind of the condition that it's in currently. So, giving it to her. Here we go. So, again, very pretty, pretty brand new, as you can see, really. And let's open this up. And, honestly, the film is still over the mirror, if you can see that. I don't know if you can. Anyway, um, ooh. the film is still on the mirror, so she can peel that right off. As you can see, barely used. Like. You're not going to be able to see any dents because I did not use the shadows enough to, you know, get a dent out of them. But yeah, I'm excited to give this to her. I hope she, I hope she likes at least some of the tones in here. Um, I've always seen her like wear brown eyeshadows, like dark brown. Um, and she's always really good at makeup as far as eyes, um, eye, eye looks go. So, you know, and her winged eyeliner. But um, yeah, I want to give her that. So that's it. I wanted to show this before my sister took it to bring it to her. Um, but yeah, hopefully she likes them, you know. Uh, hopefully. <laughs> I hope she finds use out of them. Anyway, um, I gotta get back to my schoolwork. Um, if I'm needing a little bit more of a break later on, hopefully I'll just um, turn this on and record something else. But um, yeah. Thanks for stopping by. Thanks for watching. Um, until next time. Yep. I'll see you later. Excuse me. I'm so sorry. Bye.